In this video, we'll be looking at industrial electronics N3, and we'll be looking at a past question from the national exam paper. And in this question, it is question one. Don't forget to hit that like button and to share these videos. In 1.1, briefly describe negative direction as applied in Kirchhoff circuits. A negative value means that the actual direction of current through that circuit element is opposite that of the chosen reference direction. In question 1.2, calculate the value of I1 minus I2 current by using Kirchhoff's laws. Use loop a, B, D, A, and loop D, B, C, D. Now, before we do the calculation, let's just take a look at this circuit diagram. We have current that is passing through the supply to junction A. This is junction point A. And then we have current that passes through the 12 ohm resistor, and the value of that current is 0, 0,7 amps. Then we have I1, which is flowing through the 5 ohm resistor, and I1 is the unknown current that we need to calculate. Then we've got junction point D, and from there, current passes through the 5 ohm resistor, and that is I2. And once again, I2 is the unknown current that we have to calculate. At uh, the junction, we have current flowing to the generator, and that is the same as saying I1 minus I2. Now from junction B, you'll notice that current of 0, 0,7 amps passes through the 12 ohm resistor. Right, let's go ahead and look at loop A, B, D, A. Now zero is equal to 0, 0,7 amps multiplied by the 12 ohm resistor minus five ohms multiplied by I1. And I1 is the unknown variable that we need to calculate. So therefore, to manipulate this equation, 0, 0,7 multiplied by 12 gives us 8,4. When we take it to the other side, it becomes a negative sign. And that is equal to minus five times I1. Therefore, I1 is equal to minus 8,4 divided by minus 5. Hence, I1 is equal to 1,68 amps. Right, now we can take a look at loop DBCD. Over here, once again, we've got 0, 0,7 amps multiplied by the 12 ohm resistor minus 5 ohms multiplied by I2. I2 is the unknown variable, and therefore to manipulate the equation, 0, 0,7 times 12 gives us 8,4. If we take it to the other side, it becomes minus 8,4. So to simplify once again, I2 is equal to minus 8,4 divided by minus 5. Hence, I2 is also equal to 1,68 amps. So therefore, to answer the original question, I1 minus I2 will therefore be equal to zero. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next video. And don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you.